What's going on everybody? How you doing? In today's video, we are doing part two of this Freddie Mercury 1984 interview. So far, very funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, lots of, lots of cool stuff in here. So definitely looking forward to part two. If you're new here, please subscribe. Check out my videos, all kinds of videos, reaction videos, bass videos, music videos. Check it out. If you like the channel, you want to support the channel, you can hit super thanks underneath this video. You can hit me direct. In the description, we got PayPal. Cash App, Venmo, Amazon Wishlist, mailing address, and we do donation requests. So if there's something you want us to watch, listen to, talk about, hit us direct, PayPal, Cash App, Venmo in the notes section. Leave a link, leave a description, let me know what you want the video to be on, we'll make the video. You can also email me at jpanreadsemail at gmail.com. Thank you guys. All right, let's get to this. Part two, Freddie Mercury interview. Bam. So, so. Um, you were also recording something uh, with uh, Michael Jackson that was not released yet. I think um, you, the song is even called Victory. Is that true? That's right. Yeah. Um, I've done um, I've done like three tracks uh, with him, and that was about a year ago, even yeah. longer than that. And um, yes, Victory was one of the songs, but he, he wanted to use the the title for the Jackson thing. But the song is still still there, and it's probably just waiting until the two of us get together and finish it. You haven't and um, it no, and I mean it's just because he has commitments, I have commitments, and uh, it's very difficult. I mean he's on tour, I'm going on tour, and you've got to sort of, um, you know, it's very very difficult when two different, uh, you know, musicians trying to get together. I mean they have he has to do his stuff, and uh, it's just that when I was um, spending some time in L.A. and uh, we're friends, he said, oh why don't we try something? So I mean, one day it, it'll probably be finished, and. Um, well, the other song is called State of Shock, which uh, which I did, and uh, Mick Jagger's on it, because... But it's all okay, because um, um, Michael called me up and said, look, I want to finish a song, I want it on the Jacksons album, and I said, I can't come over, because I'm in Munich. And he said, well, is it okay if, if Michael, if, if Mick does it? So I said, fine, you know. Songs are songs. I mean, as long as our friendship carries on, we can uh, write all kinds of songs after that. With uh, what other people would could you think of uh, cooperating, like you do with Bowie and and Jackson on this unreleased stuff? What are people who are? Well, it interested depends. In? I mean, I just um, I don't th I don't sort of think of those things. I mean, sometimes you just meet friends, and um, if you if you think about uh, doing a song together, you talk about that. Otherwise, that's not what I think about all the time. I mean, there. Elton and I have been friends for a long time, but we never, we, we've actually sort of said to each other, one day we probably go in there together and, and, and write a song, but it's, it's, it's better being friends, you know what I mean? Mm. And, uh, and the thing about it is, it's a spontaneity, so I mean, it's just, uh, if it happens that uh, we're talking, suddenly we say, oh, let's go in the studio and do it, it's, that's the best thing. And that's what happened with David Bowie, we were just, he was just around, we were having dinner for a couple of days, and we, we were recording, in the studio, and he just said, oh, maybe I'll come in and just see what happens. So it wasn't planned. If it is planned, then it's boring, because then it just... And we were just going in there and fooling around to see what happened, and suddenly this this song started taking shape, and we said, oh, that's quite nice, let's work on it a bit, and uh, the result of that was under pressure, Huge. so... Mm. Huge. I'm not really... Um, I don't get up every morning and say, okay, which... Who am I going to work <laughs> with uh, today? That, those kind of things don't work. How would you describe your, yourself as an artist? Would you say that you're a, a very organized person, very spontaneous person, or how would you say? No, myself as an artist. I'm just a musical prostitute, my dear. It's <laughs> <laughs> basically that. Organized or not? Oh, who cares? You know? Disorganized and organized. That's an asshole question to ask anybody. Damn. It's just, um, <laughs> I don't know, I'm just me, you know, I'm just me. I'm very disorganized at times, I'm organized at times, and uh, I'm just me. What emotions do you have when you see old stuff, for example, like you mentioned before, with long hair and black fingers? Oh, when I see myself? I see oh dear, I want to tear them all up. I just think, um, I actually laugh at myself, but I know that it was something that you had to do. I think someone like Boy George, in, in about five or ten years' time, is going to look and say, oh my God, did I really look like that? But he knows that it was it was relevant at the time, and it was right. And uh, and I think I don't regret any of the things I did. It's just that I laugh. I mean, what did you look like ten years ago? <laughs> Do you look at your pictures? And yes. oh, there you are. Then. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, I just think uh, I just think, uh, and it's it's a process of growing growing up. You know, to experience. And uh, I just think 
at this point in time, I think if I had long hair and, and fingernails and wearing the things, I would look ridiculous. I mean, I looked ridiculous then, but it worked. <laughs> 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 but it was all right then, so um, it's, just, it's, just, it's just growing up and, and, and gaining experience. If you look at, at all members of the band, I know it's a, it's a uh, difficult question, but what do you think every single member does contribute to the special chemistry that, that's Queen in the end? Is, is there, is what do I think what they give? Well, yeah. they, it's hard to sort of pinpoint those things, because, I mean, we certainly have a, a, an ingredient bet, uh, between the four of us, otherwise it wouldn't have worked especially for this long. And um, we all have a role to play, but I couldn't tell you what, what it was. I mean, it's just... The only thing I could tell you is that is the reason is because we are diverse. We're four different characters coming from... And that's, that's why I think it's worked. Not two of us are, are the same. I mean, so that you know, we all like totally different things, but we come together and say, it's a chemistry that, that works. And I couldn't tell you what it was, because, I mean, who can? It's just something that, that seems to fit. And that's what good bands are made of, you know? And we're good. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, that's a wrap. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> cool. Yeah, that's cool. Did you have those glasses growing up? Those glasses? The mug he was drinking? I don't think so. My grandparents did. Oh, yeah, I don't yeah. think so. He's very likable. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's got a personality. Yeah. And he says, like, things that are, like, insulting, but in a way where you're, like, it's, like, cute or something. It's, like, mm. not insulting. It's, like, you yeah. Know. Yeah, he's just very out with <laughs> Cause it. Because he's joking, or, you know, he feels like a joke. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, lots of, lots of funny moments. Lots of cool stuff. Yeah, I like this. I like this. This is, this is great. Yeah. All right, more interviews. Wow. Super cool. All right. Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you in the next interview. Bye.